Hello everyone, my name is Pearl Gaming. Welcome back to another day in Discord. So today I'm going to be showing you... Excuse me a moment. So today I'm going to be showing you the Discord settings and just giving you a little description of what can be found in the user settings. So let's just start from the top. So the first thing is your account. This is basically you. You've got your name, your email, your tag. You can edit your stuff. You can also delete your account, disable it, change your password, icon, name, tag if you have Nitro, things like that. You can also enable two-factor authentication, which is an extra layer of security that's sponsored by, I think, something called Google Authenticator. So you can basically double lock your account, so you're going to have to use a phone as well to sign into your account so that's extra big security so there's absolutely no way your account can be hacked if you enable this personally i don't really want to enable it because there's not really any point of having to sign in to discord which is something i do frequently with the phone and stuff but i guess nobody can guess my password because it's pretty secure anyways so next is privacy and safety these are settings such as locking your friend requests, locking your DMs, scanning, uh, media content. So this is basically what scans from other users. So if, let's put it this way. If another user sends you a file, it will scan the file before the file is sent to you. Just so you don't end up getting sent something inappropriate. This locks your DMs just so Discord doesn't crash on you because you get six DMs, and that's already weak on this computer. Uh, this is who can add you as a friend, everyone, friends of friends, server members. This is how Discord uses your data. So it's just how Discord can use your data to improve your experience and things like that. The authorized apps is all the bots and things that you authorized. So I did a previous video on this where I showed you how to add bots. And this is basically just all these bots that you approved. So these are all of the permissions you gave these bots to access your account are right here. The connections is all of your integrations on your account. So you can connect your Reddit, your Twitch, your, what was that there? I just leaked my name. Anyways, so your Reddit, your Twitch, your YouTube, Steam, Blizzard, Facebook, Twitter, Spotify, Xbox, and many others. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Billing. This is basically how Discord can access your payment system. So like through PayPal, credit card, debit card, Google Play, Microsoft, money, things like that. Nitro is, in a nutshell, Discord Premium. It costs $10 a month or $100 a year, which is a bit cheaper, and it gives you nice perks listed here. Emoji power, customized profile, tag, you can boost servers for free, the first two boosts, then they're cheaper, you can have a Discord badge, bigger uploads, and higher quality streaming. There's also Classic, which is less perks, and it's a bit cheaper. Gift inventory. These are all the gifts that you purchased, so I'm going to have one right here, because I'm going to purchase a gift soon if my server can reach 150 members by the end of the month. So, better join up, guys, because I might do a giveaway. Server boost. Basically, the servers you boosted are listed here. And how many boosts each server has? Mine is known yet, because it's small, and it's pretty fine that way. Also list the perks of a boost. Hype Squad is a Discord program that you can... It's kind of like Hogwarts, except different. There's three houses, Bravery, Brilliance, and Balance. And you can take this kind of cheesy test with five questions... And then it will randomly assign you to a house, which will also display a badge on your profile. You can also take part in specific squad challenges. And you can get a nice, shiny Hype Squad badge that looks kind of like this if you win a challenge. 
So over here are the voice settings. So this is your voice, you know, the microphone you use, everything, input, output, volume, mic tests, things like that, even your video. These are your notifications. So all the notifications that you get, including the sounds, come here. You know that little ping sound you get that if a message sent, someone deafens, undeafens. You can just moderate all of that here. Text and images is all about basically text channels. So you can enable and disable all of these little tabs like when posted as links to chat, display images, videos, and lolcats. When uploaded directly to Discord, images larger than 10 megabytes will not be previewed. Things like that. Like, show emoji reactions on messages, play animated emojis. You can just toggle all of these to see how you want Discord to look. There's this one, which is actually pretty cool. How this one works. Have you ever been on Discord and used an emoticon and it automatically got transferred to an emoji? Well, you can turn that off by simply just detoggling this setting here. And then you can type both emoticons and emojis, and they won't be auto-transferred. Over here is appearance. Everybody hates a light theme. It looks like this. It's very bad for your eyes. I personally hate it. Not a single person that likes light mode, I don't think. But there's some people that appeal to this hasty version of Discord. Dark is better. There's also message display. You can have messages like this, which are less, less compact. More to space. If you do that, they'll all compact. You won't even see the profile pictures. And you have some other things here, like spacing in between messages and stuff. Streamer mode is something that will... I don't really understand it myself. It's just something that I think will hide your personal details. Things like that. Language is self-explanatory. You can just select your own language for Discord. That's Polish. And the change log is basically the latest thing that's happened in Discord. The latest update. So just click on change log to view the latest thing that's been updated. And there's one more log out, which is just simply logging out of your account. So that's it. Those are all your little settings here. So hope you've learned something new about your settings. And yeah, so like, subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video.